A new discovery on Mars is giving scientists hope because it will support future human settlements. We're going to be talking about what that discovery is right now on IO. What is going down friends? This is Inform Overload, we do the news. Colonizing Mars is a hot topic of discussion, but there's always been one very real problem that has prevented us from doing it. And that problem is accessible water. I don't know why I was British for that. Water has been discovered on Mars before, but not in an area that is accessible to us. Now scientists have hit a breakthrough. They have found a huge reservoir of water halfway from the equator to the pole. A subsurface reservoir was detected by radar on NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. It lies beneath Utopia Planitia. Utopia Planitia means Plains of Paradise. So what makes this reservoir so accessible? According to Jack Holt of the University of Texas, this deposit is probably more accessible than most water ice on Mars because it's at a very low latitude and it lies in a flat smooth area. A flat smooth area means that spacecraft can land nearby and therefore colonize that area. And when I say this reservoir is huge, I say it's huge. It's predicted that it contains as much water as Lake Superior and it's as big as the state of New Mexico. The ice is over 560 feet thick in some places. Scientists think that it formed as snowfall accumulating into an ice sheet mixed with dust during a period in Mars's history where the planet's axis was more tilted than it is today. At some point, if the water was liquid, it could have supported microbial life. Recent studies have shown that billions of years ago, Mars had a large ocean on it that made it potentially habitable. Scientists know that Mars had enough surface water to have rivers and lakes too, and nobody really knows where it all went. It's likely that it's waiting to be discovered in underground deposits like this one. This discovery will not only help scientists unearth the history of Mars and where its water might have gone, but it makes the possibility of colonizing Mars much more real. So if that sheet of ice is so thick, how are we going to actually get at the water? Something surprising, the technology needed to extract the water was actually pioneered almost two decades ago. It's called the Water Vapor Absorption Reactor. See, the thing about Mars's water is that Mars's atmosphere is so dry that if you expose the water, it would evaporate immediately directly into vapor. The Water Vapor Absorption Reactor involves putting a dome over the soil, injecting microwaves to heat up the soil particles, liberating the water, and then capturing the moisture. Alright guys, that's all I have for you on this. You have just been informed.